Baie dankie. Goeie woorde weer eens. Sorry, just before I continue, um, just our condolences, Sorrel uh, van der Wald, his dad passed away in this week, and also uh, Basil Chobani, his sister also passed away this week, so just keep them in your prayers and memories. Thank you. Right, voor ons aangaan, um, Freddy, jy het onthou, dit is jou hevelikse herdenking van dag, nee, jy het onthou, dat ek my stout wees en vraag, wat soek jy? <laughs> Right. I'm going to jump. Right. We sang that last song. Right. Praise the Lord, all my soul. Praise the Lord. Okay. Ons as Suid-Afrikaners, kijk, wanneer, da, wanneer uh, Jacobus die skrif geskryf het, weet, consider it all joy when you go through trials and tribulations. James 1 verse 2. So, I'm going to Daniel. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm going to spring now. I'm going to go after the four. So you consider it all joy when you go through all kinds of trials and tribulations. But find it lotere vreugde as jy dier al die beproevinge gaan. Nou kijk, luister, 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 luister. We are South Africans. We own that scripture. We own that scripture. Ons het ons eie gemaak. Come on, when we face a challenge, or there's a crisis, or the news has come up with the new thing, I bet you, 10 minutes afterwards, social media has a field day with jokes. Hey? Kom, kom load shedding, ah, 10 minute, and that's jokes. Kom daar crisis, is that jokes. We are South Africans. We own that scripture. We own it. Right? So, we don't have to remember it. No, no, no. You are South African. Right? You own it. Right? Consider it pure joy when you go through these things. And I know, Jacobus, when he wrote it, he was on death row. He was about to die in jail. So, he was either on something <laughs> or he, he knew something. He knew something. Ek weet, uh, Steven is rekkie terug, hy sê weer, jylle Suid-Afrikaners, nee, you Suid-Africans, you have a joke for everything. Even your cookbook recipes, there's a joke here and there, in that as well. Right? And that comes from a Zimbabwean, eh, who knows about trials and things. Right? Okay, ek wil my dit geëndig het. Wacht, gaan we dit begin. Okay, I'm going to talk about something we know it, and we hear it every now and again, but somehow we don't live to, it, to its fullest potential. Ons is nie heel te mal daar nie. Ons weet van het, omtrent elke boek in die Nieuwe Testament word al oor gepraat, but yet, are we living in it, in its full potential? I'm talking about a small little word called faith. Geloof. It's a small word. But the implication of it is huge. Okay. Galatians 3 vers 11. And this is ons, as ek sê, my, my thema scripture, as ek dit kan gebruik. Clearly no one who relies on the law is justified before God. Because the righteous will live by faith. Or the just, or die kinders van die Heere, sal in geloof lewe. The, the righteous shall live by faith. Now this scripture comes in, in three places in the word. In Habakkuk 2 verse 4, and also in Romans 1 verse 16, this scripture comes forth. The just shall live by faith. Or the righteous, or the children of God, shall live by faith. Now who werk dit? How does it work that we live by faith every day? Okay. Is no this is a strict vraag. As jy nie die antwoord ken nie, don't worry. Don't worry. Wie van julle who of you have seen Jesus physically? Who have met Jesus physically and he was standing before you as I'm, I'm as I'm standing before you right now. Who of you have seen Jesus? Not even one. 
and yet you believe. And yet you believe that He is the Son of God. Nog steeds gloe jy. Hy het vir jou gesterwe. He died for you. And He rose from the dead. And now He's in heaven. Interceding for us. Yet we believe that. But we haven't seen Him. We haven't met Him physically. So wie vir my dag sê, jy het mate van geloof. You have faith. Because you believe in someone that you've never seen. You believe in someone that you've never met. And you believe it. So, you would say that you have faith. Right? And ek wil, Jenny, ek wil sal so ver gaan, ek dink, jou geloof is bykie groter as a monster sal. Your faith is much bigger than a mustard seed because you believe in someone that you've never met. And he, done, he has done all these things for you. So you have faith. The fact that you believe that says to me, you have faith. Right? Now we know that what scripture says in Matthew 17 verse 21, even if you have faith like a mustard seed, you will tell this mountain, Go and remove yourself and put yourself in the sea. If that only takes mustard faith, mustard seed faith, come on, you believe in someone that you've never seen, never met. I believe your faith is much bigger than mustard seed. So now, go and move mountains. Go and move mountains. Gaan skyf berge, want ek seker, ek gaan het weer sê, Jy glo nie iemand wat jy nog nooit gesien het nie. You have faith. We have faith. Now, think about that. We easily, easily disqualify ourselves. We easily disqualify ourselves. Ek is nie heilig genoeg nie. I'm not holy enough. Or maybe, you know, I'm not, I'm not a Christian long enough. I need, still need to grow. I just gave my heart to the Lord last week. And I don't think you know, my faith is that big, bro, <laughs> dude. Dude, you have faith. You believe in someone that you don't even met, you haven't even met. You have faith. Don't disqualify yourself. Sometimes we disqualify ourselves, but Lord, I have sinned in my life. I have sinned. And I know, ek weet, sonde vat vrijmoedigheid weg. Hoe sê mys dit nou in Engels nou? Sun, ach, sun. <laughs> sonde, uh, sin. <laughs> sin does take away boldness. It does. But you still have faith. You still have faith. And also, we live also in a world where it's very negative inclined. All news, all media, it's negative inclined. And we have a tendency to hook onto that. Don't let negative me- media quench your faith. Don't let negative media quench your faith. Right. Wat is geloof? What is faith? Nou kan ons allemaal ken Hebreus 11 vers 1. Right. Daniel is volgende opzet. Right. Now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and the assurance about what we do not see. Okay, for Afrikaans guy, this is high grade. This is like, you know, this is over my head. So I'm going to give you my translation of that same scripture. I'm going to give you my translation. It's to see something which is not there as if it is there. To pray in such a way for something which is not there as if it is there. Okay, for me it makes more sense. Om iets te sien wat nie daar is nie, asof dit daar is. Now, how much faith does it take to live your kind of life? 
how much faith does it take to live your kind of life? And that's also a slogan that we use in, in the Sure Foundation. How much faith does it take to live your kind of life? And I'll explain to you now. Um, can you see? I suppose not. Um, Alex, can you sing? I'm going to start with you to say, Skype. So if you can't see, uh, I'll just watch the movie of the, the recording afterwards, okay? All right. Just by practical ways, I can't you know, make it seen for everyone. But how does, just that slogan works. How much faith does it take to live your kind of life? Let's imagine. This is your life. Those at the back, can you see? If you can't, scave. <laughs> this is your life. And everything what's happened here is dependable on what you earn. You and your spouse. It's dependable on, dependable on what you earn. All your dreams, all your ambitions, all your plannen wat jy het, gaan oor hoeveel jou gesamentlike inkomste is. Your life is capped by your income. So, how much faith does it take to live your life? If you can't see, how much faith does it take to live your kind of life? Or to live, or to have this kind of life? How much faith does it take? Zolts. Nothing. It takes no faith. Now to come back to our main scripture, and the just, the righteous, shall live by faith. Now who worked it? How does that work practically in our lives? Now, in today's economy, Interest rate, oh, praise the Lord, it's still the same for now. <laughs> right, but every now and again, it goes up. Can't say for the petrol price, can't say for school fees, can't say for your rent. <laughs> All those things went up. Food prices, oh my word. We had, um, also a bike plaque from, with those coffee no loss, or with those no. We had, <laughs> we had loss like that, is it more, is more conflict in your eyes? We had, because that's our legal drug. <laughs> Okay, life happens, things get more expensive, and it comes to a place where it just might come, it just might come, that you have maybe a shortfall at the end of the month. You have a shortfall because the expenses, the expenses and the living costs exceed your income. And it will be to mock, just to make the maths easy. Let's say you have a shortfall of 3,000 Rand per month. Let's say you have a shortfall. It's just an example. Okay? You have a shortfall of 3,000 Rand every month. And like things are getting behind, school fees are not paid. You give up your gym contract. You have to cancel your life insurance, your car, your car insurance. Because of life expenditures, you maybe have to cancel now things. And, sorry, because this is a church, the easiest thing to just to leave is tithing. Because now I have a shortfall. Okay, if you're that person that has the faith of 3,000 rand, praise the Lord for you. I must rub more shoulders with you. But let's say, I don't have the faith for 3,000 rand every month. The lump sum of 3,000. I don't have the faith for that. My geloof is nog nie daar, waar ek die Heere kan vertrouw, elke maand, is it 3,000 rand. 
My faith is not there yet. But what about? What about? If I divided it by the days of the month, when it comes to <laughs> you might not have the faith for 3,000 rand, rand every month. But can you trust the Lord for 100 rand every day? Can you trust the Lord for 100 rand every day? Then the just, the righteous, the children of God live every day. Dan word die skrif, a waarheid in jou leven. Then that, that scripture becomes part of you. It becomes real in your life. Because you're trusting the Lord every day for 100 rand. Every day. Now it might come. Life expenses just go up. In oor 6 maanden is it nie meer 3,000 nie. It's like 4,000. But you have already, you can already trust the Lord for 100 rand a day. But can you trust Him for 150 a day? You already have the faith for 100 rand a day. Can you start stretching your faith, let your faith grow a little bit, to trust Him for 150 a day? And that is who geloof and ons levens groei. No part of this equation. If you're already limited to this, okay, listen. If you have children and you don't have medical aid, you live here. You live there. Because you have to pray for healing. <laughs> you have to pray for healing. If you have family members, they are not safe and they are giving you hell. Okay, I get what I'm right? They're giving you hell. Okay, this is my school family. This is my air family. <laughs> Check that. <yeah. laughs> They're giving you hell to trust the Lord for their salvation. To trust the Lord, the Lord will intervene and show them that He is the Lord. That's when you start living here. When your children say. Mom, Dad, I've got a nice love letter from you from the school. I must go on a tour. That tour will cost us 4,000 something, something rand. Those of you who can know it, you'll have yet to Right? That 4,000 something rand is not in your budget. You haven't planned for it. That's where the just shall live by faith. That's where faith steps in. You're planning something for your family. A holiday, just to a getaway. Or maybe, for instance, there's a death, there's death in the family or there's a wedding, but you don't have the finance to go there. This means it's a practice rock. Is it okay if I get practical here? If I get real here? If you don't have the finances to visit your family in time of celebration or in a time of grief, you don't have the finances. That's where the just shall live by faith. That's where you start trusting the Lord. Start trusting the Lord. Lord, you know my heart. You know my heart. Will you provide? Now, die wat in vaste grondslag was, moet nie nou antwoord nie. Okay? How many promises are in the word of God. Only, how many beloftes is there from God in his word? Give me a number. Huh? And you don't have enough, give me a number. How many beloftes is there from the Lord in his word? 3,000. Or you say, no. Okay. 
En hoe, wat sê jy? Geef my nummer. Hoeveel beloftes, how many promises of God is there in his word? Geef my nummer. No, 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 give me a number. <laughs> huh? How many? 10,000. Uh, okay, it's very good, but not quite. How many? No, a little bit less. But you're on the right track. You're on the right track. Okay, just to help you out. Just to help you out. Over 6,000. Promises of God is in His Word. Now right, net om stout te wees. Net so vinnig, so so twee minute. So onder mekaar, noem vir my vijf. Noem gauw vijf. Okay, right, if you really struggle, <laughs> if you really struggle, okay, Daniel, mag my Deuteronomium 28, well known scripture, and a, a whole lot is, li- is listed there, if you fully obey the, the Lord your God, and carefully follow his commandments, and give, I give you today, the Lord your God, sorry, I give you today, the Lord your God, will set you high above all the nations on the earth, none, verse 2 here. And all these blessings will come to you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. Number one, you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Number two, the fruit of your womb will be blessed. The crops of your land and the young of your, of your, your livestock, the calves of your herd and the lands of your flocks. Everything will be blessed. And I've just named two. Ok, net om dit te illustreer. Terens, kom jy gauw my gauw voor en toe. Somebody mentioned now, earlier this morning with the testimonies. The thing about all 6,000 promises. First of all, we don't even know all of them. So how can I make it my own? How can I make it my own if I even don't, don't even know it? Who can I get my eye mark? Now the word, okay, excuse me, uh, Daniel, Matthias, 7, verse 7. Okay. Ask, and it will be given. It will be given to you. Seek, you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. Verse 8. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And the one who knocks, a door will be opened. Right now, everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who asks, receives. Now, how do I receive? How do I make it my own? Right. The Hebrew word for, the, for receive is mambano. It is literally to take it upon yourself, om het by jouself op te neem, to make it your own, om het jou eie te maak. Jy maak dit jou eie. You make it your own. Dit is, there is no buts, or maybes, there is none of those words. You make it your own. Nou, hoe maak jy het jou eie? Dit is een belofte van die Heere. Die Heere het jou Lief. It's a belofte. He took it. Right, is it no yona? Is it yours? It's yours. If you call on the Lord, He will answer you. It's another promise. You take it, you make it your own. Actually, you're not for lot, and not in his dear cloth. I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Okay, as I begin to buy a rock, you know, make it your own, you know. <laughs> make it your own. <laughs> if you're divorced, you're single, well, not single, divorced, one of the promises of God is, I will be your husband. I will be your husband. If you're orphaned, mama or papa or leaders, as they all do it is, 
I will be a father to you than your earthly dad would ever be. I will be more of a father to you than your earthly father would have ever been. I'll be more of a father to you. Leave it alone. Do you fully obey me? Meditate on my word. You'll be like a tree planted next to streams of water and everything that you do will prosper. If you bring your full tithe to the, to the house of the Lord, Step one. <laughs> if you bring your full tithe to the Lord, I'll protect your house. I'll protect everything you own. I'll protect it. And I will open up the floodgates of heaven. Do not worry about the day of tomorrow. Look at the birds in the sky. They don't sow, they don't build barns. But yet I take care of them. Aren't you much more, much more worth than the birds in the sky? How much more will I take care of you? If you need protection, call on me. Call on me. And I'll be like a fortress around you. I'll be like a fortress around you. What's he not for the Canadian? Call on the elders of the church. Let them pray for you, anoint you, and you will be healed. You Lambana, you make those promises your own. You make it your own. All right. I don't know what you made, but you start. All right. You can suck it. Make it your own. But first of all, come to know what are those promises. What is thy beloftes? It mark it your eye. As in a rare talk, so come, maybe on the path, he's to that one of the men in the car go look. Psalm 1. Begin daar. Begin daar. Psalm 1. What are the promises of God? And make it your own. Kom hier recht. Ja, dankie vir jou. The thing is, when someone, when someone wants to give you something, God wants to give it to you. It is cast in stone on, on His word. He wants to give it to you. Take it. Don't be like me. I was a young Christian, and uh, I went, to, uh, went to, a, to a cafe, and there were some of the other congregation members also in the cafe, and I just made a joke of them. Listen, ah, can you force chocolates group? Are you going to buy us chocolates? And we were quite a few people, and he just come and he grab a bunch of chocolates and you start paying for it. And he gave it to me and said, no, 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 listen, I was just making a joke. I was only joking. He had, I, was, I was only joking. And this person just turned around and said, listen, are you too proud to receive the gift? Is jy te trots om a geschenk te ontvang? And they dawn on me. I am proud. I am proud. And pride is one of the things that we can't receive. And in the, in the prayer room, in the intercession earlier, Adele had a word of hardnakkigheid, stubbornness. Don't be stubborn. Don't be stubborn. The Lord says, no, I forgive you. As far as the east is from the west, so much I removed your sin from you. I forgive you. You are free. Take it. Take it. Don't be stubborn. Don't be full of pride. Make it yours. Make it yours. 
Now, young for the young people here, I have to just to make you also interested in the service and to keep you awake. Um, I'm going to uh, add like superheroes in here, like Marvel, DC. All right. Now there are scriptures that are applicable for Batman. Um, there's a guy that don't run fast. Flash. Flash. <laughs> 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 okay, get me there. <laughs> But there's also a scripture that's applicable to Superman. Okay, I'm going to upset James 1, Jacobus, in Jacobus 4, verse 2. Okay, I'm going to verse 2 upset. All right. Now, this is the Superman scripture. This is the superhero of superheroes scripture. All right? And I'll explain to you now. You desire, but you don't have. So you kill. You covet, you little bit clay, but you cannot get what you want. So you quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. You hit me, one day, Brani. This is the Superman scripture. <laughs> right? This is the superhero of superheroes scripture. The Superman scripture. But with Superman comes kryptonite. Verse 3. But when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives. That is why, or that you may spend what you get on your own pleasures. Now I'm going to tell a story. And I know in my own life, to be honest with you, I'm also wrestling with this. It occurs to me that I'm going to say, I'm trained. Superman and Kryptonite. I'm going to tell you a story. And okay, luckily my youngest son is not here, so I can go on proud. Right? And you get to my tieners, you must not embarrass me. You must not embarrass me. So he's he's on me. Right? When he was grade A, oh, grade zero. Right? School. You have to finish up school. We had those boxer sport. Okay. Now in grade R, I know this is a small group. And he participated and he won the 60 meter dash. Thank you. I'm going to say relay. Dash. But he won the 60 meter. Now, when he came to grade one, all the other preschools, children are also in the school. So the, the group is bigger. And in his mind or in his heart, he believed listen, I've, I've won last year. I just have to rock up. I just have to pitch. And I'll win. I go for my net up the dock. Right? Now, in our home, we have this ritual, if I can call it a ritual, or this thing, that before every exam or test or sport event or big thing, we come together and we pray. And my prayer used to be very diplomatic, very, from Alex is the word, froth from bubblegum. Like, very, Lord, may they enjoy the day, may they don't get hurt. Um, let the best person win. You know, very diplomatic. That used to be my prayer. All right, so come the Tuesday, it was a week event. Um, we come together in the morning and normally we would pray, Lord, let them enjoy their day, help them not to get hurt, let the best person win. You know, very diplomatic. All right? Now, Come the event, come the 60 meter dash, you lined up, and what daddies do, you wait at the finish line. Right. You did it not near Gedunie. As you didn't do it, you can be frocked, you can be overscopped. Right. Say, yay. Well, what daddies do, they wait at the finish line. All right, the finishing line. Okay. So the announcer said, right, on your marks, get set, shot went off. Now, listen, you had this belief. Because I won last year, I just have to pitch up. So, as they run, came over the winning line, he got a good third place. It wasn't even a photo finish. It was first, second, third. Got a good third place. And as he start, as he, as he ran to me, the tears start to run down his cheek. And he ran into my arms and start to cry because of the disappointment. And he looked up at me and said, 
Daddy, you haven't prayed hard enough. <laughs> okay, to be honest with you, I, I took offense. <laughs> I took offense. And, uh, all right. Now, lucky for him, uh, on the Saturday, it was a big athletics event where all the bigger schools in Limpopo come together. And lucky for him, the first three participants could participate. So, he had another chance, if you can call it that. Come the Sunday, or Saturday morning, it was a, a local event. All the big schools are there, and uh, like normal in our family, we would get together and we were about to pray. And uh, as I was about to pray, I realized, or I remembered what he said. I don't pray hard enough. So I said, okay, listen, I'm not going to pray for you, man. Don't pray for yourself. I'm bit for yourself. So he turned around with his athletic clothes and he went into his room. He didn't close the door. He went and sat on his bed, bed and kneeled on his bed. And I heard him praying this prayer in Afrikaans. Here he says, Lord, my vent. Lord Jesus, let me win. And he walked past me with a cocky attitude. With a, you know. <laughs> okay. Come the 60 meter dash. They all lined up. All the different schools. Now, this is like West School and Zanin and all the, the big schools. Right. And like daddies do, they wait at the finish line. And my prayer at that moment was, Here he is. Lord Jesus, just protect his heart. Protect his heart. Protect his heart. Oh, Lord Jesus, just protect his heart. Okay, the announcer announced, uh, when he marks, gets it, short win. And he won. But not just that, he also broke the record for that, the 7 60 meter dash. All right, it still stands today. Okay, but anyway, that, that's. <laughs> but then I start to have this wrestling a thing in my heart because of the Superman scripture and the kryptonite. <laughs> you don't have because you don't ask. Okay, now when does it become selfish? I, I have to be honest with you. Until today, I'm still wrestling with that. But I've learned something from a seven-year-old. You have not because you don't ask. You have not, because you don't ask. Now, can you apply faith to that? Can you apply faith to that? But as God's beloved is and trained it, there are over 6,000, pick one. Can you apply it in your life? Can you receive it? Make it your own. Just to go back, Galatians 3 verse 11. Clearly, no one who relies on the law is justified before God because the righteous will live by faith. And here's a scary scripture. In Luke 18 verse 8, Jesus says these words, When I come again, will I find faith? Can ek geloof kry wanneer ek weer kom? And there are millions, million ways to, inter, in, to interpret that scripture. But will I find faith when I come again? So, what have we talked about this morning? The just shall live by faith. To see things which is not there as if it is there. Hebrews 11, 1. To take hold of it, Lambano, make it yours. Take hold of it, make it yours. There are 6,000 chances, or opportunities, rather. Make it yours. We have faith bigger than a mustard seed. Because we believe in someone we have never met. We have faith. We have faith. You have not because you ask not. 
just because we have faith bigger than a mustard seed. Can we go this week, this month of December, and let's move mountains. Whatever mountain you are facing, because you have the faith, let it happen. Let it happen. This is not a sermon of condemnation. Actually, this is a sermon of, listen, you have it. You have it already. Let's use it. Amen. Can we all stand? Father, we want to thank you for this day. We want to thank you, Lord, that the work that you've done in us, Heer Jesus, die werk wat die in ons levens gedoen het, is die Alpha en die Omega, Lord, you're the beginning, the beginning and the finisher of our faith. And Lord, this morning, we decide to be bold. To be bold about our faith to trust you for things, to trust you to move mountains in our lives. Lord, you know our, our circumstances, you know our family circumstances, and Lord, we're going to trust you. We're going to trust you. For we will live by faith. And we're going to make it our own. And every day, we're going to trust you for signs, wonders, and miracles. Because we have it. We have that faith. Our faith is much bigger than mustard seed. We have it. And as from today, we are going to use it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mag u gesiende week hee, en mag ons tekens, wonders, signs, wonders, and miracles, tekens, wonders, en wonen werke, hoor en sing volgende week. Amen. Mag je gezien in de week. Hè?